Hello and welcome. This is uh, Mohammed from uh, Ruby uh, Umaok. Uh, today I will uh, explain how to use uh, GBuilder to create uh, a Rails uh, API. Uh, but first, let's uh, mention why using GBuilder. GBuilder uh, used to be integrated by default uh, by Rails. Uh, so if you want to stick with the Rails way, you can use it. Um, also, if you want to keep uh, the representation uh, in the view layer, also if you want to include unrelated model or no model data in your request, um, if you want to create a complex uh, JSON uh, object, and last, if you want to use uh, helper methods and partials. Let's jump on and, uh, and install GBuilder. So we go to a uh, gem file. We uh, in comment the uh, the GBuilder uh, gem definition here. We run the bundle install. We uh, we will be working in the uh, in the uh, in the book uh, database. So here we have uh, we have a table called uh, books with uh, this uh, attribute. And uh, in books, we'll have uh, many uh, authors with uh, has and belongs to many association. And this is the uh, the uh, uh, the table which connects them. We already have uh, our routes which uh, deliver uh, books and authors uh, data. So let's go to a books controller. Let's start with the show action. Here we don't want to uh, render. Uh, anything because we'll uh, use uh, GBuilder and here in views we have to create a, a folder called uh, books and a file called show that json builder and here we don't have to uh, expose all the attributes uh, including the ones that we don't need uh, so to do that, uh, we make a JSON. Uh, we have uh, our instance uh, variable called book that we already fetch in the in the controller here before uh, before actions is book. And here we uh, specify which attributes we have to um, expose to the API. So now if we come. Let's uh, start our server and uh, try to fetch uh, the first book that we have created. Awesome, cool. So here we go. We have title, uh, number of pages and language code. So we don't have all the attributes. Nice. So uh, let's uh, let's add the uh, authors uh, association. Let's include here the ID, by the way. To add the authors in the same uh, in the same request, uh, we define the uh, uh, the uh, the key uh, the key name, which will be uh, authors. And here we fetch them from book uh, authors do author uh, JSON that's ID author ID and JSON that's name author name. Let's fetch now again. Here we got it. So we have the uh, the attributes from the book and an array uh, of authors. Uh, so far, this book has only one uh, one author. Uh, also, we can replace uh, this uh, in a in a single line. JSON authors. Uh, book that's authors and here we simply specify the attributes that we, we want ID and name 
let's switch again cool we get the same uh, uh, the same response let's uh, remove this keep uh, only only one we also can add uh, some logic uh, like uh, if statements or uh, static uh, variables for instance I will add the static uh, uh, full key with value uh, bar uh, in here we could also add if uh, current uh, user uh, is admin we don't have a current user uh, so far implemented but uh, yeah you got the idea we will uh, keep it just like that uh, let's uh, fetch the data again and see yeah here we have uh, a full uh, bar attribute that we uh, added also you can uh, do a merge uh, into uh, our json for instance let's define a hash here uh, which is called for instance uh, rating uh, count let's give it a number one two three four five and here we can just merge it to our JSON merge hash let's uh, fetch the data again here we go rating counts that's what we did you can also uh, use the uh, the helper methods in the G uh, builder JSON files. So uh, here you define the uh, the attribute name. Uh, for instance, we call it uh, average uh, rating. And here you uh, call the uh, the the helper method. For instance, for example, calculate average rating. And you pass the the book. Uh, the book instance here so we will keep it very simple uh, you can uh, you can uh, try it uh, by yourself now we will uh, implement the uh, the index uh, action uh, here we also don't want to uh, to render anything which will be handled by uh, uh, by gbuilder uh, the same here we create a new file which called uh, index.json.g builder um, to expose an array you do a json.array uh, here uh, we have uh, books do book Um, here you can uh, add some logic for instance if you don't want to um, um, uh, to uh, to fetch some data you can just uh, skip it by uh, next if uh, for example uh, calculate average rating a book is uh, less than three for example um, here we'll we won't have we don't have this here we don't have this uh, this method so we'll uh, comment it for now um, so here we add uh, the uh, uh, the same attributes that we uh, have created in the uh, JSON uh, uh, file from the uh, show action we only have to uh, to remove the at because uh, our variable is book now not uh, not at book let's uh, try it here we go. We have the uh, an array with the list of the of the books with our uh, attribute that we have defined. Uh, only one thing, uh, as you see in both files, we have a similar uh, similar code. So let's do some refactoring and uh, and try to refactor this to uh, a partial a partial and uh, and try and try it again. Uh, here we create in books we create a new file we give we give it a name book that uh, that's json that g builder uh, let's copy this code here we passed it here and here uh, we call the uh, 
PowerShell that we have created. Uh, JSON PowerShell. Uh, it's called uh, book the collection is uh, is books at books and uh, we do as a book because the uh, the object name we will use is uh, is book here let's try it again voila Excellent. Uh, we do the same with the the uh, the, J, the the show uh, JSON build, G Builder. Uh, here we define uh, JSON uh, partial. Uh, we have the, the 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 variable is book as book. The it. great yeah awesome we can also do some uh, some caching so we'll uh, create a, a cache so we don't have to uh, generate this uh, this uh, this hash uh, every every time so uh, to do that we do just json uh, cache here we pass the uh, the key for instance we will call, we will call it uh, version one and the uh, book this will expand Fires in uh, in ten minutes. Do and let's grab this here. Uh, let's uh, let's try it. Okay, we have uh, an an error. Uh, Indefined method uh, performing cache uh, by default. Uh, uh, action controller uh, API uh, doesn't include the the, uh, uh, the caching uh, the ac the caching model. So let's include it. Include action controller caching, and uh, let's try again. Here we go. When we hit the next time. It should be uh, it should uh, it should be uh, fetched by the by the cache. And if you see here, uh, the first request took uh, 285 millisecond, but the second one was uh, very uh, very fast. Yeah, and if you want to uh, to cache a collection of objects, uh, there is uh, there is this gem. Which called the uh, GBuilder Cache uh, Multi. It's uh, it's also uh, use fetch multi to fetch multiple keys uh, at once. Uh, I'm not going to uh, to implement that. I will let it to you uh, as assignment. Uh, do it by your own. Uh, write your solution in a GitHub gist and uh, share it uh, in a comment below. Also, uh, discover uh, uh, the GBuilder gem. There are many things that I didn't mention. If you have uh, any question or issue, drop me a message and I will uh, try to answer all your questions. Uh, in the next episode, we'll see another gem to create a API. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.